Hi, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about product categories that I'm not going to be repurchasing in 2022. It's a pretty straightforward video concept. If you want to be talked out of products, settle in, grab a drink and grab a snack. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Holly and I create beauty, fashion, and self-care videos right here on YouTube. If that is your jam, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you in the family. But right now we're just going to jump into the video. I do want to talk a little bit about what inspired me to do this because um, no buys aren't really my thing. As a content creator, uh, my job is to try and to review beauty products. Um, I have my website, which is where I do most of my posting. And then, of course, this new YouTube channel, which I'm trying to grow. And to do reviews, you have to have products. And since I'm small, I don't get PR. So I purchased quite a few things. Um, however, I did an empties video, which I can put in the cards, where I saw how little product that I was using. And then I also did a video where I went through my entire collection and I counted everything and I looked at how much money um, it would cost to replace them. Anyway, I did like a really deep dive into my collection and I just realized I had quite a few products that I just wasn't using and I want to be um, better about my purchases and better about using my products and so hence the no buy but now that i have used lots of words <laughs> we're just gonna jump into the no buy the first thing that is on my no buy is body wash i um didn't have any body washes in my empties for a whole year because i have so many and here's one two, three, four, and then I have like two more. And the reason why I have such a large collection of body washes is because I was working on a post about the best body washes. Um, so I have a lot and it wouldn't matter if I showered like five times a day. I will not go through all this body wash which is why I will not be repurchasing body wash this year. And I've also realized that I'm very particular about the type of body wash that I use. So I don't really need to be sampling a whole bunch of different kinds. I should just purchase the one that I really like. Speaking of washing, another product that I'm not going to be repurchasing is micellar water. Um, I had a micellar water in my empties and I talked about how I had purchased a big huge bottle of bioderma I can't reach it right now um but it's a gigantic bottle from Costco and it is going to take me forever and a day to go through it and my slur water is my slur water you don't really need to be testing out a whole bunch of them I did get a little sample of one from Sephora that I hate but I'm not going to be purchasing any my slur waters and I don't think I'm going to pick them as like a sample from like Sephora or anything like that. So no micellar waters in my collection. Sticking with skincare, the next thing that I'm not going to be purchasing is toner. Um, I tried a ton of toners last year and that is because I did a lot of like comprehensive skincare reviews. Um, I know what toner that I like and I'm just not interested in trying another toner. Um, if I get a toner in the mail, like in a box or something, then of course I will use it, but I will not be setting out to purchase toners. I really enjoy um, my Le Hendrickson Dark Spot Toner, and I just don't see um, myself deviating from that. I do also have a couple of Ren toners um, from past purchases that I have not used. Um, so there we go. <laughs> Now we're gonna talk about makeup. Um, when it comes to makeup, I have decided I am not gonna purchase any more eyeshadow palettes. Um, let me look at my list. I have 21 eyeshadow palettes um, and at an average of like 30 to $40 a palette, that's $630 worth of eyeshadow palettes. And here's the thing, like, nine times out of ten I'm reaching for like a pot or a crayon um or sometimes I just put my bronzer on my lids so there's no reason for me to be buying palettes um I don't do like makeup tutorials so there's no reason for me to be, even be like buying palettes for my channel because 
I'm not gonna be creating content around eyeshadow palettes. It's just, no one would wanna see that. <laughs> I am terrible at eyeshadow. And there's so many content creators who are really great at eyeshadow reviews. Um, I'll link a couple. There's this one creator, her name, Tanya? I don't know, she's in Nashville. Um, she's a smaller creator. I mean, she's larger than I am, but she <laughs> doesn't have like a bazillion videos. But she does really great eyeshadow palette reviews where she does like three looks with one palette. I will link her channel below so you can check it out. Um, so I won't be purchasing any more eyeshadow palettes. Um, I will probably be purchasing quite a few singles since I'm on the quest to finding like the perfect one and done eyeshadow. Another product that I will not be repurchasing is bronzer. I am not a bronzer person. Um, I don't know why I purchased bronzer. I guess it got really popular and everyone was talking about it. And it started with the Fenty bronzer. It was a cream bronzer and it came in tons of shades and I was like, oh, I'll try it. But I've used it like twice. But for some reason, I went and purchased other bronzers. I purchased like the Tarte one, which I have since decluttered. And then the Kosas powder bronzer from when I did a review of Kosas. Um, I have used none of them aside from testing. So I will not be repurchasing bronzers. Um, another product that's in a similar category of things I will not be repurchasing is contour. I have an extremely round face. And I have no bones. Like, there's no way to contour this in a way that is believable. Um, I'm also not good at contour. And it just looks, it just doesn't look good on my face. So I will not be purchasing contour in 2022. Now that we've talked about the product categories that I'm not going to be repurchasing in 2022, I want to talk a little bit about how I'm going to approach the rest of my purchases. Now, as a content creator, reviewing products is my job. You know, I have this YouTube channel, which is very small, but I do have a website, which is where I do most of my reviews and where most of my content lives. And so purchasing products is just part of that. But I want to make sure that I am being smart about what I'm purchasing. I don't want to waste products. I don't want to waste money. And I really don't want to promote this like nonstop consumerism um, like you don't have to buy and buy and buy and buy like you can definitely enjoy the collection that you have and get the most use out of it and still enjoy putting on makeup you can still look great um, with the products that you have so that being said I am going to be limiting myself to two new releases every month um, that way I'm still reviewing new products so that you can see if you want to purchase them um, but I don't want to like over consume and I don't want to buy too many things. So that is just kind of what to expect. Um, I'm going to keep that to two products per month new release, probably for the next four months. And then I'm going to kind of evaluate it from there um, and see if I need to purchase more stuff, if I can purchase less stuff um, and still create content. I hope this was useful. I hope this was at least eye-opening that you can see that loving beauty doesn't necessarily mean you have to constantly be purchasing new products um, and that you can see content creators um, serving as a good example um, of how to manage your collection and purchase reasonably, I guess. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I really appreciate it as I try to grow my channel. And until next time, bye.